life can be brutal. Life can be unforgiving. If I had to sum up in one word the difference between the greats and the average, the difference between the successful and the nobodies of the world, one word, one attribute to describe the difference, discipline. If you don't have the discipline, you can forget about the trophy. You can forget about the success, the greatness. All champions have discipline. It's the discipline to work hard. You know, not when everyone is watching, but when no one is watching, when the fans aren't there, when the coach isn't there, when it's just you and your character. The discipline to eat strong, healthy foods, when you have other tempting options, when those around you might not be so strong, the discipline to say no when those around you choose to be average. The discipline to keep going when it hurts because life doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you deserve. And if you haven't worked for it, if you haven't sacrificed for it, if you haven't given your all, then you don't deserve it and you won't get it. Push through the pain. On the other side is growth. When pain comes, that means it's time to show character. Show me your character. Remain disciplined, stay strong. When it all seems hopeless, keep plugging away. Nothing can stop you if you don't stop for anything. Don't stop for anything. Never break your discipline. Remain faithful to yourself and your vision. When it gets painful, push harder. Push through the pain. You gotta have the discipline to do 11 when your opponent stops at 10. The discipline to keep going when it hurts. Because life doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you deserve. And if you haven't worked for it, if you haven't sacrificed for it, if you haven't given your all, then you don't deserve it. And you won't get it. Show your character. Remain disciplined. Stay strong. Don't say why the pain. Don't say why me. Say try me. Say, is that all you've got? Give me more. Keep plugging away when there seems to be no hope of victory. When you don't see the results, hang in there. Be strong, be brave, remain disciplined. And your time will come. Greatness cannot be achieved without obsession. If you want to be the best, you must be obsessed with it. If you want to be the best anchor man, you must be. You have no choice. There's no other way around. There's no easy way to do it. You have to be obsessed with that shit. can't get away from it. Obsession. So I know, I know a little bit about getting to the top. I also know a little bit about falling from the top. In 2005, I had open heart surgery. During the course of that surgery, I passed away, flatlined, died, whatever you want to call it, three times. I used to ask myself, I used to wonder to myself, I used to ask, good Lord, I used to pray, why, why 
did this happen, have to happen to me? I felt like I was a pretty good person. For a year and a half after my surgery, 18 months, 18 months, six months I had to spend in a wheelchair. Six more months, I had to sleep sitting down on the floor with my back up against the wall. Because if I lay down, I couldn't breathe. They had to cut my diaphragm during the surgery. Whole lot of complications. Anyway, I'd sit there, I'd ask the good Lord, why? Why did I have to go through this? Why? Why was I, why did you do this to me? And it got so bad, it was so bad, the pain was so bad, my hurt was so bad, so I used to, I used to say, Lord, if, I, if I'm gonna have to live like this for the rest of my life, then just take me. I went to a, one of the many, many, many doctor visits that I had at the VA hospital. And a young doctor approached me, came up to me, said, CT, I heard that you used to be the champion of the world. And I raised my head up, but I had a little, little, little inkling of pride still left. And I said, yes, I'm the one that you heard about. I'm the one that they told stories about. I'm C.T. Fudge. He said, what in the happened to you? If that doctor was here today, I would thank him because his snide comment is what made me determined to no longer ask God, why did he do this to me? From that day on, I wanted to prove that I was still C.T. Fudge. I'm not down. I'm not done. I'm not through. It's over when I say it. It's over. So, my focus, my drive changed. And I no longer had to ask myself why. So I tell you today, I called when, when I was preparing to be the world champion, when I, when, when I wanted to be the champion, I called it my magnificent obsession. I was magnificently obsessed with being the best. I stand here today and I tell you, I have a new magnificent obsession. I'll tell you, first of all, that everything I went through Every beating I got, every nose that was broken, <laughs> every bone that was broken, all the suffering I went through in my recovery to come back, all the times I couldn't breathe, I rushed to the emergency, it was all, it was all, every minute of it was worth it. It was all worth it. It was nothing. So no longer do I ask the good Lord why. I thank him. I thank him for choosing me. For choosing me to be the one. So I am the one that he chose to not die but to stay here and deliver that message to you. I will never pretend to be another. I will never want to be another. I will not change who I am just to fit in. I am me. I am not perfect, but I'm working on myself, working to become the best version of myself. I am working on myself to continue to expand my own self through my own work, in my own way. I am me, not the me you think I am. Not the me you want me to be, but just me, the one I want to be. I am me. I make my own decisions. I don't follow. I walk my own path. It's not always easy, but I'd rather walk alone than walk with others in the wrong direction. I am me. I am strong. I have a big heart. I speak my truth. I don't back down. I am me. I don't settle. I go after what I want. I won't apologize for being me. I am me. 
I accept you, I accept everyone as they are, as they want to be. That's me.